Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope you all are doing well today. I'm hopping back and uh, looking at the card four by Lil Wayne. I feel this is one of my favorites of the series as uh, I always listen to some some tracks of uh, this album in my early teen years. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. This is his ninth studio album that was released on August 29th, 2011. Recording sessions began in late 2008, shortly after the release of The Carter 3 from its strong sales and critical acclaim. However, the sessions were put on hold as Lil Wayne claimed he did not want to follow an album he held in high regard so quickly with another. In the meantime, he would go on and release Rebirth and I Am Not a Human Being, uh, both coming out in 2010. I Am Not a Human Being would reportedly be composed from the unreleased material from the original The Carter Four Sessions, as the album was released while uh, Lil Wayne served a prison sentence. Following his release from uh, this prison sentence, the album will be re-recorded from scratch. The album has a runtime of about one hour, being the shortest album of this uh, series with its runtime and uh, track listing. This album has a total of 15 tracks on uh, the standard edition as compared to, uh, you know, like 22, 23 tracks as seen on the other albums. Uh, however, the runtime does get bumped up uh, a little bit with the releases uh, of all the deluxe editions out there. The album has six singles, being Six Foot, Seven Foot, featuring Corey Guns, John, featuring Rick Ross, How Love, She Will, featuring Drake, It's Good, featuring Jada Kiss and Drake, and Mirror, featuring Bruno Mars. Features include Corey Guns, Drake, T-Pain, Tech 9 Andre 3000, Rick Cross, John Legend, Jadakiss, Bun B, Nas, Shine, and Buster Rhymes. On uh, the Deluxe Edition, the only other feature is Bruno Mars, and on certain select uh, Deluxe Editions, uh, depending depending on where you, you go and uh, find them. Uh, some other features include Kevin Rudolph and Birdman. Again, Birdman, Lil Wayne, and Ronald Slim Williams are seen as executive producers, along Mac Main as an executive producer this time. We also see some production from Cool and Dre, Detail, Diplo, The Smeezing Sins, T Minus, Timbaland, Willie Will, and uh, some others on the album. Now, let's go ahead and hop into some of the tracks. Changing it up uh, as compared to uh, the other entries as far into the series, we start this album off with intro. And uh, just to make this, you know, short and sweet, I felt it was a decent track to kick the album off with. Lump Blowing wasn't a bad track. I love the production and instrumental uh, here. I loved some of the lyrics and even wordplay uh, here on this track. Six Foot, Seven Foot is an interesting track. Uh, the track samples Deo. Banana Boat Song by Harry Belafonte, which revolves around uh, the lyrics of the same name, Six Foot, Seven Foot, Eight Foot Bunch. This track was also originally intended 
for T.I., but was given to Lil Wayne as the Atlantic Records manager, who co-managed both rappers, uh, thought Lil Wayne would have been a better fit for this track. I thought the track was interesting with the sample, as well as the inch mel. After hearing this track multiple times throughout the years, I've grown to love Corey Guns' verse a little bit more. Uh, I personally didn't care for it upon my first couple uh, listens to the track over, you know, the, the years I've uh, listened to uh, this track, but... I feel it kind of grew on me a little bit more as time went on, as well as, uh, you know, just listening to the track overall. I don't really mind She Will. The track features vocals from Drake, and he is seen on uh, the chorus. I feel it would have been nice if Drake had a verse on this track, as I love Drake from this early era of his works. Uh, this track was originally going to be called Maybe She Will, and was going to feature a verse from Rick Ross. Uh, the track ended up going to Lil Wayne instead. Lyrically, uh, the track is essentially about having sex. Uh, this track also samples Lane Go by J. Lai featuring Conflict. John features vocals from Rick Ross. I loved uh, some of the back and forth between the two artists throughout the track. Uh, this track samples I'm Not a Star by Rick Ross and an excerpt from the movie Teenagers from Outer Space, uh, which uh, uh, is the uh, intro to this track. Moving on to the more R&B sounding track, How Love. It seems it only took Lil Wayne to change from hate to love, as How to Hate featuring T-Pain appears earlier on the album. Uh, the track seems to be about caring for someone and uh, trying to be there for them while they are needed. Present Car seems to be an interesting track as I feel it essentially revolves around what Lil Wayne would do as present or at least some details of what he'd uh, do as present. This is an interesting trick, as the trick also uh, revolves around a sample for its chorus. The trick samples Francois de Robox by Les Dooms de Asund and uh, Jimmy Carter's inaugural address, where the words President Carter are looped for the chorus, as well as a uh, spoken word intro uh, leading up to it. Uh, it is an interesting track with both samples throughout. Outro finishes the album off, which is completely different from the previous albums, as uh, I mentioned uh Earlier with the intro, this is interesting as Lil Wayne doesn't appear on this track whatsoever. Uh, the track, however, does feature verses from Bumby, Nas, Shine, and Busta Rhymes. I feel all four of them are great on the track, but Busta Rhymes has to be my favorite part, and of course his verse is the last one on uh, this track. But wait, there's more! Uh, before I uh, leave this video, I suppose I'll hit on one of the bonus tracks, even though it's rare for me to do this, as I've seen multiple times here on the channel for different reasons. I'll hit on Mirror, which features Bruno Mars on the chorus and bridge. I feel this track is reflective on certain things Wayne has done in the past, uh, as well as being reminiscent of family members, like bringing up his dad. I feel both ours are great and do their parts well on this track.
My favorite tracks are Blunt Blowing, She Will featuring Drake, John featuring Rick Cross, How Love, President Carter, and Outro featuring Bun B, Nas, Shine, and Buster Rhymes. Today, I'll be giving this album a 4 out of 5. Uh, I still feel it's a decent album to this day, but I feel there were a few weak moments uh, throughout the uh, runtime. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As usual, feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Next week, I'll finish this series off with The Carter Five, and I'll also look at For the Children by Lobby Safray on Saturday.